everyone, welcome back to Also awesome Fizzo YouTube channel. For today's video, we are carrying on with our nerve flossing videos, and today we are going to be targeting the ulnar nerve. So when we have injury or inflammation of the ulnar nerve, it provides and produces a variety of different symptoms, depending on where it's being compressed down into the arm. So it's very common if you're struggling with an ulnar nerve injury that you have pain in a variety of different areas. What happens is the nerve roots exit the spine at C7, C8, T1, so right at the base of the neck. They blend obviously with the brachial plexus down underneath your pec muscles here down into your cubital tunnel around the elbow here near the flexor carpi ulnaris tendon so passes through here with muscle belly and then down into your tunnel of guion i always call it tunnel of guion tunnel of guion um, down here into into the hand here so what's really common with an ulnar nerve injury is that we get weakness and pain in these two fingers here we can also get numbness or sensation into the hand but also up into the forearm as well so a lot of people present with neck and shoulder pain, possibly elbow pain, and then that dysthesia or paresthesia, so numbness, change in, change in sensation around these two fingers. So what are we doing with the nerve flossing and gliding? So the idea is, is that we want to stretch and mobilize through the ulnar nerve. So the first exercise we're gonna look at is stretching out into the arm, as well as mobilizing through the neck. So you're gonna hold over these two fingers, you're gonna clasp around these two fingers, and then having the elbow bent, as you straighten the arm, you're going to drop the head down so we want to do it where we're doing it nice slow and controlled so you want to drop it all the way down so as you're clasping around these two fingers you're going to, want to do about five to ten reps as you slowly bring the arm down you're going to drop the head down so you're going to see it's going to go slightly out of shot here so you want to go right the way down as if you're going down towards your tummy and then bring it back up so again, you're pulling it down. So again, I'm gonna hold it to here, but you wanna go down a little bit lower and then coming back up. So again, it's all about slow and controlled. What you can also do if we wanna do a little bit of auto tension as we're gliding and mobilizing is the exact same thing coming down, but what we're gonna do is lift the head up. So we're taking the head away and then back down so all of this with the nerve gliding it's really important you know gliding flossing that we're doing it lovely slow and controlled so the second way we can glide or floss the ulnar nerve is having the arm out to the side you're going to have your palm down head in a neutral position what you're going to do is you're going to bend at the elbow as you tip the wrist back take it to the side of the face and then bring the head away so you're holding like so feeling that stretch and then back down and then let it relax so palm down you're going to tip the wrist back so a lot of people you can feel that pulling already tip the wrist back bend at the elbow popping it to the side of the face and then bending the neck away so again really slow and controlled you want to do this nice and gentle building it up over time bending at the wrist, bringing it over, bringing the head away. So with all of these nerve flossing exercises, you want to be adding it in, and we have done an exercise routine on cubital tunnel syndrome and releasing around the ulnar nerve in the different areas. So it's really important that with the nerve flossing, you're not just doing it in isolation, you're adding it with other exercises, and most importantly, you've had your symptoms assessed, by a musculoskeletal expert they've diagnosed what's right for you and they've advised these exercises for you specifically 